Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 6753 in Candy Crush Saga. And if you find these videos helpful, please like and subscribe. So, this is a hard level where we have 29 moves to clear out 162 jelly. And it looks like we've got portals that probably connect to here, and then these connect to here, and then these connect to here. And then nothing connects. Now this is, so it's like this is the top and this is the bottom. And look at how difficult it's going to be to get over here. If we can get over here, we get color bombs and maybe color bomb, color bomb combos. But we've got crystal and frosting to get through beyond all of this stuff. And we've got maybe color bombs here, but these are licorice shells right now. We're going to have to open them up. And I think that the bubblegum pop is going to make it so that we can get to that. But... They're going to explode. We're not going to be able to do color bomb, color bomb combos. We've also got cake bombs and a whole bunch of stuff and very narrow passage here. Let's see how quickly we can get the stripes. Well, we got some stripes. Oh, wow, those flow fast. We got some stripes, but not necessarily from here. I think it just came because we only have a few colors on the board. Oh, this is a good move early on. Get those color bombs open. Get the bubblegum pop active. I'm going to try to make it a domino effect. So when one bubble gum pop goes, it hits another. And we can try to reach in there. Going to take another color bomb opportunity. Oh, poor Sasu. Um, Gee, should I just take out all orange? I don't think so. I would love... Why did I think there was another green there? It's on the other side. I would love to set this up with another special. Not sure that's going to work, but I think I got it. So I've got this here. Now I could try to make moves in here and bring more blue in, but then it's going to disrupt what happens here because this affects what happens here. So let's take this while we've got it. Oh, Sasu, I know. Firepaw's crunching, crunching, isn't he? Um... Again, another opportunity maybe to put that with a special. It's going to be tough. Oh, man, I could blow it up. I'm going to do this and keep trying to wind this down here. There we go. And Oh, how did I do that? I thought, <laughs> I, thought I made a combo happen. I don't know what the stink I did. It's just I'm paying attention to the cat, not the board. Let's see, though, because now we have two opportunities. Orange would give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 stripes that were once not stripes. And one stripe that would still be a stripe. Green would give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Green gets it. And there was a green nestled in here as well, so that's helpful. We've almost got these cake bombs gone. I would like to get those cake bombs gone because, you know, I kept thinking, well, it's going to, everything's going to flow more. Not really, because we still have only two columns here. We have very restricted movements. I want to get these stripes coming. There we go. I can get that cake bomb. That's going to remove a layer of everything. Okay, color bomb. Another color bomb. So now I am going to take out a color. I'm going to take out green. It's going to help over here. It's also going to concentrate the colors down, and it might allow me to match up a special with that um, color bomb or make another color bomb. But am I just making too many things? Oh, here we go. I like this. Boom. I can't, I can't change the aspect of the the board too much. I can't bring in more blue. If I do, I'll lose what I have going. I'd love to hit this. Can't reach it. Going to go for this instead. If I hit this, it'll take this out, but we need something far reaching for that. Let's try to go for cascading. Oh, I need that down a bit further. I can't bring it down a bit further. I can bring it down a lot further. Man, I'm going to just be able to pull this off. No, they swung out of control, wildly out of control. So I can't quite get all the way over here. Not surprising. It's a hard level. I'm going to have to pay really close attention, but I have the feeling that even when I pay attention, it's going to be difficult because of how narrow the, the columns are. 
um, the, the working spaces because they're only two columns wide. I have the feeling this is going to be more luck than skill. It's hard to determine what's going to happen when everything new flows down from the top. Uh, but I do know I need to work over to the right hand side even better than I did. I need to keep working over here just because I think there's going to be a lot of skill involved doesn't mean I'm going to give up because I think it's probably skill and strategy. So I'm going to pause, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off initially, but once I solve this, I will come back through and narrate everything for you. Okay, so here we go for the mad dash to success. Looking for color bombs. There we go. Looking for ways to pair that up. Oh, shoot. Well, maybe I can get a color bomb, color bomb combo. That would be lovely. Or just take out a color and concentrate things down and get this to match up. Oh, there we go. That is awesome. That takes out a layer of everything. So all of the crystal candies are now gone. And some of the, <laughs> look at this cascading. This is what I meant by luck. Uh, some of the um, cake bomb is gone as well. And now, of course, I want to be able to match things up. But it's so hard to get things to go together. Okay, so at least we're opening this up, taking things out, letting these stripes explode, letting the bubblegum pop explode. Again, I would love to get a combo. There we go. There, cake bomb gone. So a layer is going to be gone. And especially up at that top where the color bombs come out. That's what I'm interested in. So if I get one more cake bomb gone, then the frosting at the very top far right is gone. So how do I line up a stripe when it's up so high? Oh, this is tough. Oh, there we go. Got it. All right. So now I'll get hopefully color bombs coming down and I probably should just use those color bombs repeatedly. Now I only have one column thick at the, at the far right. So it's not like I'm going to be able to devise a way to pair it up with a special. I might get the opportunity to pair it up with a special, but I won't be able to coordinate that effort. I mean, most likely, although I am aiming Let's do this. Let's aim at these frosting. I've got eight moves left, so things are going well. I believe I should probably just take out a color. I don't have to worry. This is all doing it for, for me. We're getting these nice long stretches, and since we've taken out a color, we're getting stretches of the same color. We're getting color bomb after color bomb. Look at that. And now I probably want to take out blue because it'll take out that jelly and make that stripe go. And then look at this, all these nice big colors. And here I could do a color bomb, color bomb combo, but then I remove the color bombs. I'm going to do this and hope a color bomb, color bomb exists. It's tricky. If that blue takes off, it slices through three color bombs. It held. So that's it. That's all I need to do. And the good news is I think this was my third try. It was definitely under five tries. I didn't have to go get any more lives. So that was irritating because I couldn't form a, a really coherent strategy, but fun and exciting because it's very explosive and it moves quickly. And uh, thankfully, I was at least able to use some strategy to accomplish the win. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.